everybody. Hey, my name is Sharbar. I'm John Food. <laughs> and this is Tiny Bites. Today, I'm going to be making something with Trader Joe's Thai shrimp goiza. Gyoza. Goi. Gyoza. Gyoza. Did I say it right? That's right. In case you want to see the ingredients. They're right there. 100% gyoza. Now this is not gluten free, but I sometimes make an exception for this because it's really good. I'm gonna put it in a soup today. What do you think about that? I John think food? I'm gonna eat it. Okay, so first I'm gonna put Primal Kitchen avocado oil into a pot and let it get hot and then I'm gonna add my chopped and washed leeks. I don't know if you guys know this, but leeks are the number two anti-cancer compound behind garlic. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna be using leeks and garlic in this soup. Well, it's starting to get bubbly, so I'm gonna add them soon. Okay, and I've added my fresh garlic, and I'm gonna add my yummy leeks and let that saute. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. So are you excited about the soup I'm making? Oh, yeah. What do you think we should call it? Smell soup. No. <laughs> so it's going to have garlic and leeks and lots of vegetables and those Trader Joe's shrimp gyo gyoza. gyozas. What's the natural? I smell the garlic developing. I just put the leeks in too. And the leeks, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder if this would be interesting to find out if the leeks actually develop their flavor being cut and stored in the fridge with each other, you know, over, was that two days or one day? Mm. Was it just overnight? I think they've been in there for a day. We'll find out. Yeah. So sometimes I have John food Help me chop mushrooms. <laughs> Except I'm having difficulty with that one. Now these mushrooms are organic white button mushrooms. And I don't know if you know this, but there was a study that women who ate a small amount, like it was like a half a mushroom a day, I think was the study, don't quote me, had a massive reduction in breast cancer. Isn't that interesting? And it was yeah, white it button mushrooms. Isn't that interesting? Because you think of white blood mushrooms as being so generic. Yeah. But they're actually extremely healthy for you. So we're going to add some of those to this delicious soup. All right. Next, we're going to add our mushrooms and our white blood mushrooms in with the leeks and the garlic and avocado oil. Now, avocado oil is such a good oil. It's very anti-inflammatory. Sometimes I use avocado oil, coconut oil. You can use olive oil. I don't tolerate olive oil that well, even though it's like super healthy. Um, so I don't really use that one a lot, but I love avocado oil. It's like a staple in my kitchen. It does not look good. It smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. So you really want to let those mushrooms cook down. And here's the thing about mushrooms. Don't, don't salt mushrooms while you're cooking them down because that makes them release the water and then you'll have kind of a soggy um, mushroom. So if you want your mushroom to be nice and seared and have really good flavor, don't salt it. We're gonna add the salt much later in the process right now, but just FYI. So John and I sang karaoke earlier today. That's like one of our other favorite things to do. And it's so much fun. I like picking random songs and singing them, like as a challenge. John sang a really good Oasis song. What was the best song I sang, John? Today? Yeah. Oh, um. Oh, uh, Cellophane. Oh, yeah. Cellophane by FKA Twigs. I also sang Taylor Swift. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. <laughs> so while, while I'm waiting for the mushrooms to finish sauteing, I am chopping some cilantro 
And so cilantro, I don't know if you know this, it is amazing. Um, so it's a, it's a natural herb um, to detoxify and help move toxins out of your body. And plus it tastes amazing. Um, so I love cilantro so much. And I'm going to add that here shortly. So John is helping grate some zucchini now. One thing I like to do, and John can attest to this, is I like to sort of figure out what we have left over in the refrigerator and utilize it. I have a lot of zucchini right now. So we're going to use that. I also have some chopped ginger over there. Um, so ginger is an anti-cancer root, which is amazing. And plus it's going to taste great with all the flavors I have going on right mm -hmm. now. Leftovers. Get creative with that. That's what you turn on. But yeah, you can put any, um, and you can put any vegetables that you have um, in your refrigerator. I just have zucchini, so that's why we're using this. Mm, that zucchini looks so good. Mm -hmm. We're using a new, this grater that we got from Ikea. It's all stainless steel, which is really great, so it's not leaching any toxins into the food. Is it good? <laughs> so we're going to add, oh my gosh, we're going to add the zucchini next to saute that down. Okay, so we just added the zucchini, the cilantro, the ginger to that, the mushrooms that we have sauteing already, and the garlic and the leaves. And I'm just going to let the zucchini saute down a little bit. It <laughs> smells so good in here. So I'm going to use a splash of this Trader Joe's organic coconut aminos. Um, if you haven't used coconut aminos, it's a super healthy alternative to soy sauce. And it's delicious. I love using it. Um, and what I'm going to do with it here is just add a little caramelization to everything. Okay, so I have the vegetables. So the vegetables for the soup mixture are sauteing nicely and then... I just put some oil in the pan and added the Thai shrimp goiza from Trader Joe's. Um, so I'm gonna let that sear for a minute and then I'm gonna steam it. Um, and then I'll eventually add some broth to the soup. So I'm kind of a broth, uh, a very picky person when it comes to broth. And this is one of my favorite kinds. Um, the main reason I'm really picky is ingredients. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but this has filtered water, onions, celery, carrots, mushrooms, leeks, collard greens, spinach, broccoli, fennel, tomatoes, parsley, black pepper, corns, and garlic. And it's all organic and there's nothing else. A lot of times when you find broth, there's a lot of junk in there. There could be like sugar in there, which is so not something that you need in broth because you can add sweetness if you need sweetness. Um, there can be just any number of like toxic or just, I don't know, to me, pointless ingredients. So I love this brand because they just make broth, right? With all the goodies and all the vegetables. So it adds a really great flavor to whatever you're making. Okay, so I'm gonna add my broth now. I'm also gonna add a little bit of tofu. I love the texture. I'm going to add the whole thing of broth in there. Okay, so I've added my broth and I have this gorgeous soup. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of tofu in there. Again, this is something that I had some leftovers of. Um, so I'm just adding it in. You can add it or not add it. It's really up to you if you like it. I love tofu and almost everything. Okay, and then you want to steam the dumplings, so I added some water, and I just put a glass lid I had on top. I use cast iron in, or stainless steel in most of my cooking, and I also use glass. Um, all of those things are non-toxic. Um, cast iron is absolutely, in my opinion, the best thing that you could possibly cook anything in. It really is. It's so easy to clean. It's so easy to care for. I'm a huge, huge fan. So I try to use it whenever possible. I didn't, I don't have a lid for this. So I sort of just improvise and I use the lid um, for the soup that is 
coming along nicely. Um, and I put it on here so that I can uh, steam these and get them nice and soft. If I was a dumpling, what would my name be? Sweetie. That's not creative enough. That's not creative enough. Um, like, how fancy of a dumpling would I be? Extremely fancy. You would be called glamorous um, jumpling. Jumpling. Yeah. Like a tigger dumpling. Yes, because you jump so much. Like a bouncer man. That's right. You could like your Zumba class. Mm. Jumpling. You'd be a charmpling. Charmpling. A charming dumpling. Because. With a giant shrimp in the middle of it. Okay, I like that. That's I can live with that. <laughs> All right, these delicious oisa dumplings are almost done. I'm gonna add them into this beautiful soup. Um, so I did season this soup, and I did some garlic. Um, I did some Redmond sea salt, one of my favorite salts ever. Um, I actually, a little secret that I like to add is just a couple dashes of a really good organic curry powder. Um, you don't have to add that, but for me, it just adds a lot of healthy, like curry is such an anti-cancer um, fighting, you know, anti-inflammatory compound for your body, um, but I like to add it whenever I can. Um, so I personally like adding it and I think it adds a depth of flavor, especially when you just do a little bit. It's just that thing that you're like, what is that, right? And it tastes so good. All right, and now I'm going to be adding the dumplings directly into the soup. Just like this. They're going to be delicious. I'm going to let it simmer, kind of get to a boil, then I'm going to turn it down. That way the dumplings get nice and soft. And honestly, kind of are falling apart in there, which is totally okay. So you have kind of some pieces of dumpling, some that are intact, but they're really soft, which would be great for a soup. You guys, it's a sad day when one of the dumplings falls to the side of the pan. Let's, let's say goodbye to the little tiny dumpling. John would probably eat it. I'm gonna actually, what? nothing. Nothing, honey. Everything's fine. No dumplings over here that have fallen. So if I threw it away before he noticed it, otherwise he would eat it. And him and I really disagree on stuff like that. When I was younger, the five second rule was okay, but I'm like not really cool with that anymore. He would eat it though. All right, everybody, and now we have this glorious, complete pot of delicious dumpling soup. Mm. And you can top this with some seaweed flakes. Um, you could top it with sesame seeds. Um, you can eat it as is. It's, like, wonderful. And bonus points, it's super healthy for you in cancer fighting and anti-inflammatory. Soup's ready. Oh, wait, it's ready? That only took you like 10 minutes. That's amazing. It took longer than that. T it took 10 minutes. <laughs> it's I'm ready. easy, but it, it took more like 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. With you, I'm always having fun, <laughs> and it feels like time is always flying. No, he's listening to video game videos, so time is flying. <laughs> okay so here is the finished product you could mm, garnish it with some fresh cilantro if you want mm. um this salad i made with greens and green onions that we got from our garden oh and there's a little parsley i ripped it with my bare hands i actually did rip it with my bare hands and i put an apple cider vinaigrette on it mm -hmm. But you can use any salad dressing you like. I just like the salad. Um, so if you want to turn the heat up a little bit, this product is amazing. So you just put a little tiny bit in there, kind of swirl it around in the soup, and you can make it hotter to your preference. This stuff is really great. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. That is. I stopped it prematurely. Let us begin. <laughs> 
So I am super excited to try this soup. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Ooh, I just caught a scent of it. That, it, ooh, wow. You know what I'm getting the most when I smell it is the leeks and the ginger. Yeah, same. Also, um, so, and, and the broth itself. Mm. It was a vegetable broth, right? Mm -hmm. So you have that mirepoix soaking into the broth itself. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's really nice because there's like little pieces of shrimp from the dumpling in it. Mm, so good. Okay, so it might be a little hot. Okay. So just okay. take a bite slowly. We'll, and we'll start from the edges. Then. So I need to, I'm not going to do any seasoning. I suggested seasoning, but I'm not going to Yeah, I said we yet. could add some heat or some seasoning if we need it. I'm going to get probably a little tofu mushrooms, cilantro, zucchini. I like to take a smell of it before I eat it. That way it's like all inside my head. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That's really, really good. So the immediate sensation is the tanginess you get right here. If you get this, you'll understand. I'm not sure if everybody gets this, but there's a tanginess right here on your jawline, right below your ear. That means something's really, really good is affecting you. The richness of the broth coats your entire mouth, but especially your tongue, it's still resting there, as a matter of fact. And after you swallow it, there's this immediate release of all the ginger and leeks. Mm. That is uh, slightly acidic, but mostly warming. It's a really good soup. Thank you so much, baby. Oh, that sounds so good. I, okay, I'm sorry. There's one more flavor. I'm pretty sure, and I may be incorrect, but there's lemongrass in the gyoza. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even a little bit that's inside the little pouches of gyoza from Trader Joe's is coming through. So oh. adding even more lemongrass into this, like, yeah. and, and that's a cool thing. So like... You added all this healthy cancer-fighting things, right? You mentioned all that. Anti-inflammatory, right? yeah. Anti-inflammatory. But you can add even more. I mean, you can add anything. You add celery to this, and it would be amazing, mm -hmm. right? You can add lemongrass. Yeah, like any vegetables that you have. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to try it. So I'm onions. so excited about this floppy, soft dumpling. So when you sear the dumpling, and then you put it in the soup and let it boil for a minute, it's just this, like, floppy, soft tender dumpling and I'm really excited about trying that. I am so excited to try this now. This looks amazing. So I'm going to make a bite with some dumpling and some mushrooms and some shrimp. Mmm. 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 It's good, isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. So you guys, this is so good. The dumplings being soft like they are, is just a beautiful texture in the soup. Like you're right, the lemongrass, mm. the flavor of the lemongrass and the dumplings goes with everything else. The cilantro, mm -hmm. the ginger, it just all, mm -hmm. it all goes just together so well. And again, any vegetables that you have would go really great in this, but I'm super happy with the mushrooms and the zucchini. It's oh, so yeah. amazing. Yes. Hey. Hey, thank you guys for watching our first video. Um, I want to give you guys an update. I have had like three bowls of that soup today and it just gets better the more it sits there. Yeah. It's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so really, much it really develops and even more of an update. It's almost gone. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, you guys, um, stay tuned. We'll post more videos. Thank you.